This is Hannibal from the HannibalTV.com at the SWE Fury Wrestling Television taping in Greenville, Texas with the general manager himself, WWE Hall of Famer, the Godfather, as I like to call him, Teddy Long. How are you doing tonight, sir? I'm good, man. I'm having a great time here tonight. We're right here live in Greenville, Texas for a great big wrestling show. Had a lot of great matches tonight. We crowned a new SWE Women's Champion, uh, Christy James. And uh, we right now, we're also crowned another champion. Rodney Mackey's going to be the SWE uh, TV champion. So a lot of things happening here in SWE. But since I'm having the chance to talk to you, Hannibal, you know, I... You know, I just, it's just something I'm just kind of curious about. And I've had some people to come up and ask me, uh, who, who's this guy? What, uh, I just wanted to ask you a question. You know, uh, there's a rumor going around that people seem to think that uh, you are this wrestling guy, the blood hunter. What do you, can you elaborate on that? Or can you tell me anything about that? I've actually never heard that rumor. And I've been back here all night conducting interviews so i don't know i know you got good sources sometimes but i think that's a false rumor well yeah I, I that's what i'm saying i've seen you back here all night doing interviews so there's no way you could have went out and wrestled anybody but like i said i just wanted to ask you about it i didn't believe it either but you know there's just a rumor saying that you are the blood hunter so like i said i just thought i'd ask you about it and other than that we won't even worry about it on another topic, there was a plasma TV broke in a match tonight. Things got a little out of hand in that street fight. As a GM, what is your opinion on that match? Well, uh, you know, I, there's really not much you can say. Everything's kind of out of control. You know, there's a lot of bad blood between uh, Moonshine Mantel and Mike Costanella. Uh, and I think it goes deeper than that. But these guys, this is their second uh, brawl that they've had. And they're really basically, you know, trying to hurt each other. So I think there's a lot more going on than what what we're being told so the night i went out i made sure i talked to uh mike castanello after that match i said man whatever you want me to do to fix this i'll do it so the next time you'll see those two it will be in the ring because we need to sell it and not into the crowd and in the stands and out in the streets i don't think that's where it needs to be settled it needs to be settled in the ring and that's what's going to happen you also had Tim Storm and Lance Archer from AEW go at it for the SWE Heavyweight Championship. Can we expect more AEW talent in SWE? Well, of course, you can expect uh, AEW talent. We may have. We also had uh, Mark Henry scheduled to be here tonight. You know, he's a WWE Hall of Famer. So we're going to be, you know, using a lot of guys from a different organizations. You know, everybody's talking about SWE and everybody's talking about they want to come in and, you know, you know, make a name for themselves. Well, this is the company where you need to be. SWE Fury, we doing big things and big things are happening. Finally, this was the last taping of 2020. 2021 is just around the corner. Hopefully bigger live events will be allowed, although you did have a great crowd here tonight. Can you give us any hints of what to expect for SWE next year? Well, SWE is certainly going to be doing the same thing they're doing right now this year. We're going to be booming, you know, headed straight for the top. A lot of great wrestling talent, a lot of great superstars are going to be coming in for the year 2021. So all I'm saying is the people to stay tuned and keep watching SWE because you never know who you might see. And you, of course, have your podcast that you tape as well. Could you tell us a little bit about where we can follow your podcast? Well, our podcast is getting started. We're filming for it right now. It's called Hold On A Minute Player. Uh, it's me along with my co-host, DJ Tony Snow. So we'll be doing that together. And our podcast is going to kick off next year, 2021 in January. And we got a lot of great people that we've already interviewed. Jake the Snake Roberts, uh, a legendary Dallas, Texas rapper, Little Flip. Uh, Rodney Mack, Jazz, uh, you know, the list goes on. We've already interviewed these people, and you're going to be able to see them. But the podcast, Hold On A Minute Player, that's how you find it. You can go to Instagram. It's on the Hold On A Minute Player. Excellent. Well, thank you for doing that interview with me earlier this year. We had great reaction. Tens of thousands of people watched it. Hopefully, next time I come, we can do a more formal video interview so i suggest people check that out check his podcast out and is there anything else you want to say to close this interview off for tonight well i just want to say thank all the fans and swe for coming out you know and, and you know supporting us and for everybody that watches us on uh, uh, on our tv stations and also on social media and also we got the swe fury app so anything that you need to know you can go to our app and you can find that and the last thing is merry christmas and a happy holidays holla 
Thank you for watching the Hannibal TV. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and click the subscribe button to not miss any of our latest shoot interviews, match videos, or news updates. Support us on Patreon.com for $1.99 a month to watch our full shoot interviews ad-free and help our channel grow. Follow us on Twitter at The Hannibal TV for instant updates.